I didn't get a chance to film the way of the bike, but it was a size 51 Solus with uh, pedals on there, Shimano pedals 105. It came out 18 pounds, one ounce. All right, so just do the configuration of kilos, but 18 pounds, one ounce. Hey, how's it going, everyone? GC Performance here, back with another video, and I finally got my hands on the brand new 2023 Cervelo Soloist with the SRAM Force on it. This bike retails for $6,800. In today's video, we're gonna go over everything about this bike, what this bike is about, who it's for, and uh, also give you guys the weight on this thing as well. Uh, big shout out to Tune Cycles over here in Boca. I will put a link down in the description below to their store if you guys are interested in this bike. They do sell Cervelo, and I think they have a few more of these bikes come in. But without further ado, let me get into this bike. And uh, right off the bat, I must say, I don't sell Cervelo, but I do like everything about this bike. This bike is $6,800 with a SRAM Force group sound there and carbon fiber wheels. It does feel almost like pre-COVID prices. I mean, literally back in the day, bikes with SRAM Force with a, a second tier group set with a power meter and carbon wheels, they used to go around $6,800. Now we're seeing SRAM Force bikes at $9,000, $8,000, $10,000. So it is a breath of fresh air to see something with the aerodynamics, the carbon fiber wheels, a mid-tier group level, a power meter, and also integrated cables for this kind of price point, right under seven grand. I think that's hit some money on the head. They also have this bike in an Altegra DI2 version. And they also have this bike uh, in a Rival and a 105 DI2. And I think also a mechanical Altegra too. So you can run this bike mechanical as well. So very cool for an enthusiast who wants to get back into the sport. But basically what the Solus is, where does this bike range in the category for the consumer? This bike is literally dead smack in between the Cervelo R5, which is their climbing bike, and so the Cervelo S5, which is our full line aerodynamic top line race bike. Uh, they say that this bike is 250 grams heavier than the R5 and it is 250 grams lighter than the S5. It has some features on it that make it more aerodynamic. You have the, uh, the straight uh, down tube, the aerofoil down tube on the bottom. You have the lower seat stays. You have the tucked in tire in the back as well with the down tube. You have the aerodynamic seat post. Uh, you have the integrated cables, but it also still has the uh, a little bit more rounded top tube. It also does have the R5 geometry as well. Uh, this is the bike that is literally, they say that's gonna be for a person who wants to maybe compete, but also wants to daily their bike. It can do it all. You don't have to worry about anything. They changed up a couple of things to mount and make it so proprietary in the front, which I'll talk about in a second. And uh, it's for the consumer who can literally just get on a bike, get out there. You get a great deal for money, uh, bang for your buck. You get a big brand name company and uh, it, it's, it's a badass bike. Really nice. The color on here is beautiful too. This is their, this is their, uh, their black with the white logo. But if you look in here, it does have bits of sparkles, like rainbow sparkles in here. So as soon as the sunlight comes out again, I'll show you. But a classic looking bike. But anyways, um, without further ado, let me get into the whole bike to show you guys everything. Just real quick before I go into it, the tire clearance on here is now a 700 by 34 C. You can put up to there, and they did that to make it a little bit wider for uh, modern day tires, modern day rims and also uh, a little bit better aerodynamics as well. So without further ado, let's get into the bike. So starting off with the handlebars on here, they have their own Cervelo aluminum handlebars. These are a little bit more of an aero deflate. Uh... Sorry, my camera is going blurry. Okay, so real quick before I go that, let me show you guys the paint job in here. Beautiful sparkles, very clean looking, very subtle in the dark, but in the light time, the bike steals the show with the shine. It looks very nice. Okay, so anyways, 31.8 handlebar clamp. We have a little bit of ergonomics here for the flats at the tops right here. We do have their own Cervelo handlebar uh, bar tape. We have on here SRAM Force shifters, 12 gears in the rear, two in the front. They are a wireless shifting mechanism. They have two hydraulic hoses for the brakes. That is all you're gonna see on the bike. You can run a proprietary Cervelo uh, Garmin mount or Wahoo mount, you can put it right here. They have all these accessories now, all these companies that are doing it. They have their own little situation. As we can see here, the cables are running uh, underneath the bar underneath the stem. They have this little kind of tuck-in piece underneath the stem as well, and then house it down into the frame. So big thing here for consumers, let's say you don't, you don't want to buy this proprietary bike because you're a guy who likes to work on their own bikes. Well, let's just say you're not sure of your fits or anything like that. Benefit to this is that you still get the same benefit of running the cables integrated. They're literally tucked, they're tucked away from the wind, so you're not getting any kind of a penalty there. But if you wanted to, you can lower your stem to figure out your uh, position. You can change stem lengths if you need to. If someone wants to borrow your bike, you can, you can sit up for them. You can do all these fit features without having to bleed your brakes. Whereas like with an S5, a Madone, um, a Pinarello where the cables are ran integrated through the stem, that is a downfall. Whereas this is very similar to like a Tarmac SL7 where the cables are ran underneath the stem and into the frame. It doesn't look as clean, yeah, but the, the, uh, 
the trade-off of the efficiency of working on it, much easier. I mean, literally to change out uh, handlebars, to change out stems, it's going to be a bigger, bigger ease for the mechanic, which is great. Uh, we have right there the Cervelo logo right there. We have the carbon fiber fork, and then the wheels on here are going to be their uh, own reserve carbon fiber wheels. It is a 40 millimeter depth wheel on the front. Uh, the internal width on these rims is 25 millimeters. They do have their own zip hop on here. These are circular spokes. Are they circular or no? Uh, no, those are arrow spokes, okay? Arrow spokes and arrow wheel, makes sense. Uh, these are arrow spokes. Like I said, 25 millimeter internal width. They are tubeless ready as well. And then on here, these have the Vittoria Rubino Pro tires, a 700 by 28C. On the website, they say they're either gonna come with the NEXT or the Rubinos. That's just obviously gonna be subject to change whether or not they have this stock in or that stock in. So your bike might come with NEXT. They might come with a Rubino Pro. That just is what it is right now. Um, you do have your little axle key right here to go ahead and remove your front wheel. And then, like I said, you can put up to a 34C tire in here for tire clearance. This is a 28C for reference, but you can see we have much more room on there. And not only that, with the flare out on there, uh, you do get a benefit to a wider fork frame. Uh, is going to make it so the air flows better and give you more aerodynamics as well. For the rotors on here, we're getting the SRAM Force rotors, 160 millimeter rotors with a center lock wheel. And then we have on here a SRAM Force um, disc brake caliper on here. I believe that these wheels are hooked and also, yeah, so these are hooked. So these are tubeless ready and also tubes. So these are tubes in here right now. So these are not hookless. So I like that, it's a nice benefit. They did also change the bottom rack on here. This is their bike that they followed off of their, uh, their, their, their R RX bike. This is a BB Wright threaded T47 bottom bracket. Um, a lot of people, I guess, will be liking that. It definitely will be very nice for people to have a little bit more of um, better reliability and you're not gonna have to worry about creeks, you're not gonna have to worry about service as much. It's easy to swap in and out. You know once you install, you're good to go. There's not a lot of guessing, so you're good to go there. On the crank arms, we have here a SRAM Force crank arm. And we can see with these frame changes with the new UCI rule, we can see the much larger head tube here, the much larger carbon down the bottom rack area as well, taking up all the aerodynamic benefits as you can. Uh, the crank on here is a SRAM Force uh, crank with carbon fiber crank arms, a cork power meter as well, and then you have a 4835 tooth chain ring on here, 48 tooth being the top, 35 being the bottom. SRAM Force chain, flat top chain, SRAM Force front derailleur with a uh, detachable battery to swap from the rear to the front. Um, we have a SRAM Force cassette in the back, a 1033 cassette, and then a SRAM Force rear derailleur as well. Uh, the wheel in the back is actually staggered depth from the wheel in the front, so remember this is a 40 millimeter depth. This is a 44 millimeter depth. A little bit deeper, a little bit better aerodynamics. And then we have the same tires as well, the Vittoria Rubino uh, Pro, 728C tire, uh, tires on there. It is a zip hub in the rear as well, so you do get that same zip engagement. And you do have the XDR attachment for the Freo body. A little bit weird, this is the same internal width on the back as a 25 millimeter and the back internal width, but on the front they say it's a 25.5. Uh, you're seeing a lot more companies kind of do that to help with better handling more rim a wider rim width is going to expand the tire more to give you more control on the road so very nice there again it can take up to a 34c they made all the requirements you need to on the on the rear stays and also the chain stay and then this bike is if you guys not know mechanical ready too so if you didn't want to run mechanical on there like i said you have the option to run it mechanical we have the lower seat stays here we have the little gap here for the tire to go ahead and hug it right to the frame and then we have its own cervello soloist uh carbon fiber seat post Arrow shape, flat back. We have our integrated seat post wedge right here. A little Cervelo logo with the Solus, Soloist um, frame name on there. And then for the saddle that comes stock on here, it's going to be the Sella Italia with the Boost saddle. Uh, nice wide cutout to give you a little bit more blood flow. Very, very nice. But these are a titanium rail in a plastic body. So not a bad bike at all. This is the most expensive model they make of this bike, of the Soloist. It's 6,800 bucks. I think they want to aim at that target. They're not trying to say this is a top tier race bike, but this is a bike that can literally perform with whatever you want it to do. This bike with an Altegra DI2 setup is gonna be a very nice bike as well. Uh, but I really liked what they did. I like the price point of it. I like the, uh, I like the all-in-one of it being uh, a climbing slash aero bike. I like it being that it's, it's, it's going to all consumers out there. I think they did a really good job with this bike. It's literally like the R5 and S5 had a baby. You got this bike now. It takes a guessing on which one you want to go with. Maybe you want to get Cervelo, but you didn't know where, what kind of bike to choose because of the fact that they're two of the extremes. 
now you have a bike that fits dead in the middle and uh i think they did a great job on it so anyways guys that's gonna do it for this video stay tuned to after video we're here free up by the test on this reserve wheel with the zip hub right there and thank you guys again so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next video all right here comes the free up by sound test on this cervello solstice with the reserve wheels and the zip hub very nice yeah